Hi, today I will show you how to add rain into your artwork with Krita. I will show you two methods for this. The first one very manual, so you will see every step involved to have a very big control into every aspect of the effect and the second one a bit more automatic at the end. Uh, I really like to add rain into my artwork because it adds a lot of mood and a lot of atmosphere and ambience. And the first thing you need to do, I will take this page of pepper and carrot as an example during this tutorial. Uh, and we will learn how to make a, a layer like that with the rain effect on it. But I will remove it and I'm coming back. So the first thing you need to do is to prepare your artwork for receiving the, the effect of rain. So you need to paint it with a bit of reflection because everything is wet. And you need also to show some little drop of water bouncing on the surface because yes, when you have rain hitting the surface, some little particle bounce and it's good to, to paint that also. And the most important, you need to create some room for the value of the rain because it's it's white stroke so you need for example to not use too much white on your background and to use a uh, value a bit darker in the general artwork so for a daylight scene it works like that and for a night scene of course it's always work better so the first thing we need to do is we will create a new layer it will be our rain layer so we can already name it rain and then i will fill all the layer with black so i'm selecting black color and edit fill with foreground color i will try to not use a lot of shortcuts so you can follow it by uh, only the interface but i can do it all by shortcut of course then i will go to filter other and generate a random noise This will be the base of our effect. So this noise in Krita is in color and we don't want the color. So I will go to filter, adjust and go into desaturate and press OK. So now I have only a black and white noise and I want all these little dots to merge with the neighbor into this grid. So I will go to filter, blur and add a Gaussian blur filter. Five is a bit weak, so I will boost it around 10 and press OK. So now we have this blurred noise and with it, I can contrast it to only select white dots. And it will be our base particle for the effect. So I'm going to filter, adjust and I'm going to the level. And here you can see all the dots. So I'm just putting the black and the white to only select them by the contrast. And here you can already work on the density of your rain. The particles are not in motion, but it's like dots. So I want quite a lot and quite a good contrast with them like this white point and I will press OK. So now I have this background black and I want to see my artwork. So I will transform the black into transparency. And for this, I will go to filter, color and color to alpha and select the color I want to transform to full transparency to black and I'm pressing OK. So now I have my little point, white point into the air and I want just to add a motion for them. So filter, blur and motion blur. I will add a bit more length, 60. And for the direction, I will use the widget to put the rain a bit vertical. And if you have a bit of wind, you can always put a slightly little angle like that. I will keep that. 
So now you, ha you have your rain effect done, but if it's not enough powerful, like here, it's a bit gray and the motion blur a bit reduced the, the opacity of each rain uh, drop. So you can always go to filter, adjust, and call the color adjustment curve and select the alpha, so the transparency, and we will reduce it. So just our rain would be more visible. So that's the very manual effect way of doing rain. And with this, you have a very good control about the angle, about the density, and about a lot of aspects. In a second time, I want to show you a more automatic method that involves using gimmick filters. So I will hide my rain filter, select the artwork, and you need to have a flat artwork for this. And we will call filter and start gimmick. So by default, I can search here for rain in the search and I will find the filter rain and snow. And as you can see here, it proposes in the preview already the same effect we made, but already made with the angle and the speed and also other settings. Uh, don't forget to put the output mode to new layer because we don't want to get the white of the rainy effect directly on our artwork. It would be very difficult to edit our art artwork. And when it's done, I will just tweak it a bit, a bit more radius and a bit more speed. And you can press OK. The result you get is with a black background, so you know how to do. Go to Filter, Color, and press Color to Alpha again. Select Black, and then you will have your effect. But I usually prefer to make it manual. So that's all for today. If you liked this tutorial, please feel free to comment it, share it, and uh, if you have idea for a next tutorial for next week, uh, please leave it in the comment below the video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.